here you can see that all these 16 functions laplace transforms i have been written in one page okay in our last class we have been discussed in detail how we are going to evaluate laplace transforms of these 16 functions so here i suggest that you just remember all these uh, laplace transforms okay so how we are going to remember easily here you can see up to 5 these are the normal up to 5 and 6 a by sin a t a by a square plus a square cos a t s by a square plus a square sin h t here sin a t and h t here you can see a a is common for a t a square plus a square h t a square minus a square cos a t like this s s is there but only a t a square plus a square h t h a t a square minus a square okay this four in this way you have to remember and here you can see i marked star on 10th 11th 12th 13th and 14th because these five functions follow the shifting theorem as e to the power 85 will multiplied with a function then it will be f of s minus a already we have been discussed in our last class so here you can see that this is your e to the power 80 into t will be 1 by s minus a square means here laplace transform of t is your 1 by a square or we can if we are going to consider if it will be f of s then e to the power 80 will be multiplied means it will be f of s minus a according to shifting theorem so here 1 by a square is there so instead of s we have to write s minus a okay likewise here you can see that e to the 80 sin omega t see e to the power sin sin 80 will be this one suppose sin omega 2 e will be there sin omega t laplace transform then it will be written as omega by a square plus omega square right so if e to the power 80 sin omega t we are going to consider according to shifting theorem instead of s we have to write s minus a right likewise e to the 80 cos omega t so for cos 80 or cos omega t is if we are going to consider laplace transform of cos omega t it will be written as um, s by a square plus omega square right so if we are going to multiply e to the power 80 with cos omega t then it will be s minus a s minus a here s is there s minus a square plus omega square okay now here you can see that sin h a t is your a by a square plus a square if a t will be multiplied with this then what will happen see here sin h a t is there suppose sin h b t laplace transform if we are going to consider then it will be uh, it will be here for h a t a by a square plus a square h b t it will be obviously b by a square plus a square minus b square right a square minus a square minus b square so if we are going to consider e to the 80 which will multiply with this one so instead of s we have to write s minus a so b by s minus a square minus b square okay so if you remember up to this one by using shifting theorem up to 14th you can remember all, all which you can remember easily okay up to so up to 9 you have to remember 10th 11th 12th 13th and 14th you can uh, find out by using septim theorem then 15th one is your t sin a t will be 2a s by a square plus a square whole square laplace transform of t cos a t a square minus a square by a square plus a square whole square okay so how you are going to remember this one and this one see for sin a t and cos a t denominator is a square plus a square sin a t and cos a t a square plus a square is there so for this case you have to consider a square plus a, a square plus a square whole square whole square and for sin a t t sin a t 2 a s t cos a t a square minus a square okay so up to 9th if you remember then 10th 11th 12th 13th and 14th you can easily found by using shifting theorem and for 15th and 16th this will be 2 a s and this will be a square minus a square denominator is same as compared with it sin a t cos a t okay thank you so much for watching this video thank you